Hello everybody and welcome to this case study Native vs Transcoded. In this test I'm going to explore if transcoded of a highly compressed footage may give one any advantages in post. So what I have here is these underwater footage of these lovely frogfish taken with ABC HD Sony camera which I transcoded to TGA sequence and in my machine transcoding took 1 minute and 37 seconds so as to make sure our comparison will be correct I'll drop both original ABCHD footage and the transcoded TGA sequence into a composition and set a blending mode of an upper layer to difference and as I set it to difference our screen turned to black that should indicate we don't have any difference in pixel value however If I tick linearize log space checkbox and click OK, some alien arrives. So what does that probably mean? That probably means that pixel value was shifted while transcoded. And our further comparison maybe not exactly correct well anyway I uncheck linearize workspace and continue our test now supposing someone doesn't like these natural greenish tint of water and he wants to replace it with some bluish one probably better for one's eyes okay no problem and I keep this water out Edit some curves to soften a bit edges because they were not perfect after my keying. Sorry for that. This footage is probably not the best key in the world. Then I edit a blue, dark blue solid below to imitate our new tint of water I duplicated our frogfish layer as well so as to get back this natural play of light on the water and because I had to stabilize this footage I added another one unstable footage so as not to increase stabilizing footage too much so I limited the scale to 107% and the job seems done with the color correction we now going to move a bit further now I duplicate my composition with the keyed ABC HD footage, rename it to key TGA and replace ABC HD footages 
we have transcoded TGA sequence. Now jump back to our ABC AD versus TGA composition and drop both composition into it. Now I'm gonna add time warp effect with default settings just for the sake of for the sake of playing <coughs> copy these effects and apply them on the second composition now I switch blending mode to difference and as we can see there are no artifacts in the screen and the screen is completely black and as I move our play the screen remains black what does that indicate? It probably indicates that our processed color corrected value in 32-bit color space of our original ABCHD footage and transcoded TGA sequence are now probably the same. Bear in mind If I linearize workspace, our artifacts no, haven't seen it. No. Well, so uh, in linearized workspace, I can see a lot of artifacts, but as I mentioned in the beginning, we have some shift in the pixel value, probably from the very beginning while we transcoded ABC HD footage into TGA sequence and our test may not be exactly correct and check linear's workspace jump back again Artifacts gone. Now let's compare our rendering time. So I did a preparatory work in terms of a rendering RAM preview and uh, a RAM preview of a six second block area of these keyed color corrected time warped composition uh, when it 
pass uh, ADC HD composition took uh, of about uh, 280 seconds uh, whereas while it was an TGA composition it took of about 240 seconds so the difference is about 16 percent now let's compare rendering final output media file rendering ABC HD version of our final composition with keyed color corrected time warped original footage took 15 minutes 57 seconds whereas rendering our TGA version took 11 minutes and 23 seconds so as you remember transcoding took 1 minute and 37 seconds as well so here we have difference is uh, maybe 20 plus percent in render time well thanks for watching enjoy and the professional comments are more than welcome